Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about the KuCoin crypto trading bot again. If you guys were following my other couple of videos, then you know that I have been kind of struggling. It wasn't necessarily KuCoin's bot. I just didn't know what spot trading was or grid trading or really how to work the system. So I just wanted to update you guys because I have changed some things around. I know I said I was going to wait until day seven to move my money around, but I was just leeching money on one of the trades. So I moved some of that money around took a loss and I'm hopefully going to make it back with my new strategy. So let's talk about it. Here we go. This is a video of what I've got going on. So I have LTO, DPR, mana on a futures grid. Keep that in mind. This one I'm still waiting for a good spot to get out of. And then this is the one that's making me money, obviously. So... All of these are spot grids except for that one futures trade for mana and then you can see that I'm adding more at the Sere. You can see that the entry price is not yet triggered. So one thing that I wanted to let you guys know is that you can go into advanced settings and set your entry price. And had I done that for this ISPO link that I am losing money on right here, see my average buy price and the current price, I could have gotten in at a way better price had I done that entry price instead of just hopping into it immediately. So I'm using entry prices for all of these and my entry price is about at the day's low, so the 24 hour low for all of these. Um, and then you can see I'm adding to my Sarah position at a lower cost. And then I, a couple of these, I don't really know, they're just trending on KuCoin, we'll see what happens here. And then I wanted to talk about this. So I'm doing a futures grid. If you know anything about this, please let me know. I did a long times five uh, futures grid so basically I'm betting on mana going up and then I did want to talk about the spread so when I've made my first couple of bots on here I made the spread absolutely insane like this was 0 0.003 and this was I think seven cents and what I didn't know is that when you put the order in and you say hey do a hundred different transactions basically it already calculates all the orders from your low to your high and so what I was doing was I was spreading it out so much that I wasn't getting any arbitrages there were no sales happening because the spread was too high the price action just wasn't fulfilling it so I changed my price range on both of the currently running bots and also my strategy on the bots that aren't yet running to make it a little bit tighter so that the spread is a lot smaller like I think my spread on here is 0 .000 zero two cents in USD T. So basically when the price of ISP moves 0 0.0002 cents, then my I will be buying and selling consistently. And so even with my Sere here, let's see, even here I changed this as well. I closed in this price range here so that it's a lot smaller. So on here it's like 0 0.002 per each different trade on the grid so every time this price moves 0 0.002 I'm gonna either buy or sell depending on if it's high or low so that will give me more arbitrages more buys and sells and more opportunity to make money and when it says like okay you're gonna make 0.2% to 1% per um, grid per trade that means out of let's say that I have 50 here right then every time it trades I'm gonna get 2% so it stacks on top of each other. It's not like your total profit possibility is 2%. It stacks per transaction. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you don't make your spread too wide like I did. That was a huge mistake. And then, like I said, just to recap, make sure that you put in an entry price. If things are kind of high or if it's like at the high for the day or if you just have a price in mind that you'd rather get into, it's better to wait and let your entry price get triggered instead of just hopping in like this is the all-time high right now basically like we're at highs for a lot of these and so if I got in now my possibility for profit just absolutely diminishes as you guys saw with my ISPO link trade and then that HAI one that I had going on I just literally canceled it at like a negative $84 profit because I just it was bleeding me out and I was just sick of it so I took the hit this kind of makes up for it anyway so you know I'm not necessarily breaking even but 
hopefully with these other trades that I have going on here soon, I will be able to make my money back and then some. But I just wanted to point out to you guys that I could have gone about this KuCoin crypto trading bot a different way. I just didn't really fully grasp it until I got into it a little bit more. So just keep that in mind. And then if you guys have any more information about what this futures grid thing is, I kind of don't understand the 5X and the liquidity thing. So if you guys have any more information about this, please let me know. It's pretty new to the platform, so I'm still figuring it out. But we will definitely find out if this performs better than the other spot trading, just regular spot trading grid. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys have I've tried this KuCoin crypto, crypto trading bot. I'm really interested to hear your reviews. I know they're coming out with even more bots soon. I think that in my first couple of videos, I was kind of blaming KuCoin a little bit. Like, no, I, I kind of wasn't blaming them, but I just felt like maybe the bot was the problem when in reality, it was me not knowing how to get the most out of this. So I just wanted to let you guys know, keep your spread a little bit low so that the difference per transaction is smaller so that you can make more buy and sells so that you can actually have a chance at making more money if it's too high then you're gonna get a couple of arbitrages in 24 hours which is not what we want we want a lot we want to keep it moving and we want to buy and sell consistently to get higher gains and a more gnarly like margin right so keep that in mind and then like I said with the entry price make sure that you put in an entry price for your order it this just changes everything. When you scroll down to the very bottom of creating a new bot, it just says advanced settings. Click on advanced settings and you'll see some of those different attributes that you can change and entry price is definitely one that I absolutely suggest pretty much every time you're gonna use this bot. Um, so as you can see, I'm adding more to Sere. Just to recap, getting more into this. If I had just gone down to here and clicked add investment, then it would buy more at this current price, which is not what I want, right? I don't want to buy at this high right here where I'm making money because then I just absolutely tank my average buy price. And so what I did instead was do an entry price order below my average price for the other transaction and just added a little bit more. So we'll see how that goes. And then like I said, the spread on all of these is way smaller than how I had originally planned it. So just keep those things in mind. Let me know if you have any questions and if you know anything about this grid, futures grid situation here and this multiplier and then what happens with the liquidity, please let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, have a great day, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.